right now I got some Mixed Light Gary Payton brought to you by Sunmed. So let's check it out. Here it is, the Mixed Light Gary Payton brought to you by Sunmed. Coming in at 30.42% THC. There are the numbers, looking pretty good. But let's look at the buds. And by buds, I mean bud duh, because I do not have many left. Sorry about that, but I kind of smoke them off. Um, so uh, the majority of the buds look like this. Not too crazy looking. They reek quite a bit. You can smell it through the bag. But this kind of triangular pointed shape, the hairs on it are kind of like a creamy color, like yellow, maybe a touch orange, but it is super, super frosty, very, very dense. There's not a whole lot of give to these knocks. Here's one of the other ones you can see, it was a little bigger, but uh, and you get the, the general the general structure. They all kind of look like this, super, super dense. Let's get a close up. Man, they're real dense, covered in trichomes on the inside close on the one that I broke, you can see a ton of heads on those trichomes there. This stuff is reeking as I uh, break it up. I can smell it through the bag and it just gets stronger as I break it. Yeah, I mean this stuff, no crazy colors, but it, a lot of trichomes and they all got heads and this stuff reeks. Yeah, you guys get a picture of what the bud looks like. Real light greens covered in trichomes, and we got some nice, like, weird yellow cream orange hairs on there. All right, let's taste it. I noticed when the strain reeks dank through the bag, and when I opened it up, I got hit with a really, really dank kush, followed by this slightly sweet vanilla and a rubbery gas. You know, the vanilla and rubbery gas are all mixed in together. When ground, it's a little more complex. It seems to be a mixture of all the Gary flavors with kind of a, a lemon backing that's really soft and not super sharp citrus, you know? It's more of a, a, a soft sugariness. It's almost like the lemon was mixed with vanilla. It, it's hard to describe, you know? The flavor is also hard to describe, but it tastes very good. And I would say that it's a combination of those Gary flavors, like the, the gassy, the, the rubbery dank, a little bit of that vanilla, and, and some of that lemon, you know? But it's kind of indiscriminate. It is definitely a good flavor though. This drain definitely tastes like what I know Gary Payton to taste like. The feeling it gave me was very, very happy. It was super easy going. I was definitely high, but it was easy to handle and it lasted a very long time. But careful because one time it did make me kind of tired. The body high is a very gentle warmth and the head high is, I would not describe it as hazy, but it can be very stony. Overall, I would just describe the experience as smooth. Additionally, the strain has an interesting spread of terpenes. It's dominant in caryophyllene at 0.96%, then followed by limonene and humulene at 0.28 and 0.26, followed by linalool and myrcene at 0.2 apiece. But what's interesting about this strain is that caryophyllene, its dominant terpene, is the only terpene that's also a phytocannabinoid and directly uh, interacts with the CB2 receptor. It's theorized that because caryophyllene has this reaction, it could reduce neuroinflammation and neuropathy. As for me, I'm definitely going to buy this strain again. The high is very, very diverse. It could be an easy, carefree stone or turned into a calm, focused euphoria that I had had me thinking like myself, and it does have me thinking like myself for the first time in a very long time. You know, you know, I, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I definitely have been, you know, relaxing on the information in my videos. And it's because that takes a lot of time and research and, you know, my brain has not been working after the stroke. So it's interesting. I didn't read this, this information about, I, I knew it in the back of my mind, but I hadn't really, you know, like, you know, connected it that, oh, this strain is dominant and carry finally. And I'm having really clear thoughts right now. I wonder if, you know, this is an anecdotal report. I wonder if the rat study is, you know, I wonder if caryophyllene is reducing inflammation in my brain, which I have, you know, that's one of the reasons I can't taste and some of the, 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 the causes of, of my stuttering and whatnot, you know, is left over from the stroke is neuroinflammation. So maybe, you know, just maybe the caryophyllene helps that. Who knows? That'd be cool. All right, everyone. You know, so this has been the, uh, the Sun Med uh, Gary Payton. I, I'm definitely going to buy it again. And if you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend you do it. All right, I'll see you later.